If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Vive Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we've got for you some more insane trading methods that are going to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. Now if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you guys do please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. And then make sure to check out all the links in the description like Twitch for all my daily live streams, Discord for all sorts of trading advice and investments and all the other links down there as well. And with that said, let's go ahead and let's jump right into this video. So guys, we got three different methods for you guys to try out today. So let's go ahead and let's jump in. And we're going to be starting out in the Italian league here. We're going to be looking at Lazio or Latium on here. We're going to go Nation Brazil Quality Gold Rare. So in this filter, what we're going to be looking at is Luis Felipe and Felipe Anderson very two very very nice cards that have good value to them if we take a look at the price right now felipe anderson is up in price because he's also out of packs because he's got a team the week card right now which makes this filter even better so right now luis felipe is selling basically for about 2700 coins now when you sell for 2700 you're gonna lose 135 on tax so i would typically try to pick these cards up for 2400 coins or less we already got one popping up there for 22 we missed that snipe though let's see if we can pick one up here and yeah these cards just pop up super super quick because they're not cards that you would expect to still be going for like over two and a half k right now so it's a couple really really nice cards to snipe and it's clutch that they both come up in the same filter here now i do also enjoy bidding on these cards just in general i like bidding more than sniping i find it a lot easier to pick cards up especially with all the sniping bots that are out there now so let's go ahead and take a look at bidding here we got quite a few cards coming in the next five minutes let's kind of flick through here real quick and see what we're looking at so a lot of people mass bidding 2500 on Luis Felipe there so if you see someone mass bidding a price like that that's when I would typically stay away and just stick with sniping or go for another filter because that just means someone is locked in on those cards and is only doing that and you're probably just gonna waste a lot of time honestly trying to win those cards so I'd come back to sniping and try this for a bit 19 oh my goodness I can't win a snipe to save my life but with that we'll go ahead we'll move on to the next filter here which we're going to stick with gold rare. We're going to jump over to the Premier League, go Manchester United, and position we're going to go striker. So gold rare United strikers. So in this filter, we're looking at two main cards, Cavani and Martial here. You're not going to get Ronaldo. So Cavani and Martial. And if we take a look at the price right now, Cavani is going to be the cheapest. He's basically the lowest, the cheapest 85 on the market. I believe so he's coming in right now about 33 3400 coins it looks like let's take a look yeah so you're probably going to be selling him for about 3300 so when you sell for 3300 you lose 165 coins on tax so try to pick these up for 3k or less here martial is a little bit more expensive i think he's more towards like the 6 7k range i'm not 100 percent sure though but he's definitely more expensive than Cavani here and Cavani is actually a very very good card to mass bid on any sort of fodder card in general I enjoy mass bidding on I find it not too difficult to pick them up so let's kind of look at uh at the bidding market here it's doing the glitch where all the cards aren't popping up so if we take a look here let's kind of see what we're looking at see if we can find some Cavani's with a decent possible bit I don't know why someone bid on that for 100 coins under let's take a look come on ea really need to fix this glitch all right so this is probably going to take too long for us i don't even know what martial let me go on footbin real quick and see what martial's price is to see if this is a card we should be bidding on so martial here is going for 6500 so i'd probably want to pick up like 6100 i kind of like that so we'll be able to sell him 64 lose 320 on tax still make 300 coins yeah that's not bad let's see if we can pick up we'll bid one more just for the sake of it we'll bid 6k on martial there and keep it rolling we'll see if we can snipe one 
And then once that Martial expires, we'll go ahead and move on to our third and final filter, which is a low budget one that I actually like a lot. So let's see if we can get lucky and pick up a Cavani here. I just haven't been able to snipe anything this FIFA. It's crazy. Saying that, there's an Edison Cavani. We take those. We take those right there. I think we said 3,300. We'll go ahead and list them up for. It's the minimum amount of profit we were going to get, but we'll take that profit right there, no question. And I think we got outbid on Martial there as well, and we did. So we'll go ahead and move on to our third and final filter for the video, which we're going to stick in the Premier League, and we're just going to go quality silver. And that is it. And if we take a look here, right now the cheapest silvers are going. There's a bunch here for 550. And those are goalkeepers. Let me see if there's any field players. There are a lot of field players as well. So basically any silver you get can sell for 500 coins here. Any silver you get in the Premier League can sell for 500 coins. So what I like to do is I like to just set my max bid price to like 400 and then just go through and find cards. And even what I like to do is just go through in any card that has a bid on it, just like take a look at what the price is. I'm a really big fan of this method. Someone like Joe Linton here is going to go, what, he could go a thousand coins for sure, right? Yeah, this guy could definitely sell for a thousand coins. So we'll win him for 850 and sell for a thousand if we can. So someone bid on him there. And literally just going through in every single car that already has a bid, because that means it must have some value if someone wants that card. Just go ahead and toss another bid on it and see if you can win that card. Someone like Ronan, and then you'll start to like recognize the cards that have quite a bit of value. And you'll know, like, oh man, we can go bid on that card because he goes, he definitely goes over a thousand coins. And you won't have to compare price on every single card. You'll start to recognize who has value, who doesn't. Like this guy, I guarantee I could sell 700. Next up, this guy, I bet would go for 900. Let's take a look here. Yeah, we'd definitely be able to sell him for 900. So we'll buy him for 700 here. And you can just go through and do this over and over and over. It is incredible here, boys. Absolutely incredible. And you just do the same thing over and over. It doesn't seem like a ton of profit, but when you're winning as many cards as you can win, just bidding on these, then you're going to end up making a lot of coins on this. Because it really just starts to build up over time, especially if you're on late at night and there's not many people bidding on those cards. You can typically get a lot of cards there. So we get Road in here. Now, I don't know exactly what his price is, but typically I'll just kind of list up and try to get lazy buyers to pick up. Try to pick up 200 coins on that card there. And then we get Broja here, who again, don't really know his price. I know he's not a crazy expensive one. So I'm just going to list him up 650 and see if we can get a little buy going on that as well and then we do get outbid on the rest of those but guys that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video